Mario Kart, the pinnacle of Nintendo games. If you don't know what it is, then you, my friend, have been living under a rock. And today, I will be recreating Mario Kart in 24 hours. The first step of making Mario Kart is car physics. We need our car to move, as that's the game. So I made this gorgeous piece of art and gave it some physics. And with a bit of nerdy magic, we have this, a controllable car. But it's not really working like Mario Kart does. This is because we need acceleration. We want a car to start slowly and begin to speed up as you drive, instead of immediately reaching a certain speed. To do this, we create a sphere collider below the car. This will help us achieve the effect of a ball rolling down a hill, meaning that it takes longer for it to slow down and to speed up. We also probably want some sort of a better looking car. Yeah, that's better. I also made the wheels turn in the direction that you face, because realism. Okay, so you see that... Yeah, that shouldn't happen. We need our car to actually work like a car. So I made it warp to its terrain. And yes, I know that's not how cars work, but that way it doesn't look stupid when it's going up a hill because it actually warps around it. The final step of making it like Mario Kart is drifting. With the 24 hour limit, I just wanted to get the basic mechanic implemented. It's not going to be perfect, but we need something. We make a boolean for drifting. If this is true, we call this function. This will basically steer the player in the direction that you face. We also create a float value called amount, and depending on how hard you press the drift button, this amount will increase, essentially allowing you to drift more the harder you press the button. So we have drifting. The car doesn't jump like it does in Mario, but it works. Now, the second step of making Mario Kart is adding shit that really doesn't need to be added. For some reason, my smooth brain decided to add parachutes. You know, the thing in Mario Kart that really doesn't need to be in the game and is just there anyway. Instead of working on something useful, I made this model in Blender, wrote some code, spent hours fixing the code, wrote some more code, gave up halfway through and made this parachute. Does it work? Yes. Was it needed? Definitely not. Step 3. Characters. So Mario Kart lets you customise your car and choose a character, and at the moment, our car is looking very lonely. So I downloaded character models, rigged them up, gave them some materials, and whoops, you weren't meant to see that, and created a menu where you can choose your car colour and character. Why did they add this? Uh, yeah, I still don't know. But look, you can choose character and skin, yes, very good. I also created another menu where you can choose the level. It gives you many options, so I understand if you can't choose what to play. Bruh. Maps. So Mario Kart gives you different tracks to play. But here at Zyga's YouTube channel, we give you this one fine track. Making your own tracks is kind of overrated and for non-lazy people, aka not me. So I set this map up, gave it colliders and removed some stuff that caused issues. And we have a map. Step 5. AI. So I didn't have time to make this game multiplayer, plus that has already been done before, so I figured bots will have to do. I wanted to create two types of AI, one simple and one advanced. The first AI will essentially just follow a path that I make. I created this function slash system that lets me create transform points and connect them with gizmos. That way I can visualize what the path will look like. Then with the use of a rigid body and a collider, I make the car move to the first point. Once this point is reached, the car will make his way over to the next one, and so on. But then I ran into an issue. For some reason, my AI would keep flipping over, and increasing its mass of gravity wouldn't do anything. This meant that I could only go at a speed of 10, which is extremely slow. Which is why I needed to implement braking. I needed the AI to brake round corners, so that it doesn't flip over. I essentially just use sensors, so the AI knows when it reaches a corner. Then once that occurs, the AI will slow down and its speed is clamped. Once the corner has been passed, the AI will start to speed up again. The second AI was more interesting. I wanted to use machine learning. That way the AI could learn the track and get better. But I realised that I was running out of time. So before doing any of that, I needed to add the most important aspect of Mario Kart. 
Step 6. Items. With two hours left on my clock, there was no time to waste. First, we download Cube Model. We add Collider, detect collisions, call an item function, create UI to display stuff, make a random item array script, create some animations for random item, and bam, we have items. Essentially, the player can run through this cube and they will get a random item. We also have that cool animation at the top. I added a mushroom which will speed the player up for a short period of time, a banana that can be thrown and once you collide with it you will stop moving for a set period of time, a shell that once again can be shot forward but this one actually has momentum. This shell will bounce around as well and once again if it hits the player, the player will stop moving for a short period of time. And an ink item that reduces the accuracy of the AI and also covers the player's screen. Oh, and coins that are around the map and basically just increase the player's speed. Also, the mushrooms, bananas and shells have double versions and even triple versions of themselves. Finally, I added some particles, post-processing and camera effects. I also added a timer that tracks how long it takes you to complete the level. I also added a lap counter. This system is super simple, we basically just add triggers around the track, we give them an ID and then we check if the player has actually gone through them in the right order. So, you remember that AI thing? Yeah, I had about 20 minutes left, so I trained them during that time. But apparently 20 minutes isn't enough, and they are kind of dumb. I mean, half of them finish the track, half of them don't, and most of the time they're just being stupid. But here is the semi-finished game. Just a final thing, obviously I cannot release this game because Nintendo will sue me and also Among Us probably will as well, but I'm planning on releasing some of the source code on my Patreon, I mean as long as you guys want that. So there is a link down below if you want to become a Patreon, it really helps the channel plus you get a bunch of source code stuff which is pretty cool. Finally guys, if you did enjoy this video please leave a like and subscribe, and thank you to my current Patreons, Smoking Vita, Tardis IT Guy, Atomic Punk and Alan Z, and I'll see you guys later.